Hello everyone, welcome back to my video. Steven here, thank you so much for taking time to enjoy the topics we discuss here. Please help support me by liking and subscribing my video and content. I look forward to share more everything reef related topic with you. Today we continue our is blank right for your tank series by discussing sea cucumbers. Sea cucumbers are part of the echinoderm family. Echinoderm in Latin, in Latin means spiky skin. So members of this family include sea cucumber, starfish, and urchins, all of which possess the spiky skin character. But many other marine creatures may also contain spiky skin. So how do we know what is common among starfish, sea cucumber, and urchins? The answer lies in their cross section. If you are to view these creatures from the angle of their mouth and slice their bodies from this view, you'll find them all to possess a pentagonal structure of various outlines. And by the way, if you see an urchin, the side that is um, facing the ground is its mouth and the side that is um, facing you when you view from the top is its butt. Uh, just an FYI. We will discuss starfish and urchins, um, fitness to your tank in a separate chat. Uh, today, let's just focus on sea cucumbers. So, unlike um, their urchin and starfish armor relatives, the sea cucumbers typically do not have the calcified armor deposit around their skin layer. This leaves them vulnerable to predators, extreme temperature, and water pressure. Although they lack the protective armor that urchins and starfish do, they possess something even more deadly that is their internals. So when stressed, sea cucumber can actually expel the entire digestive tract, which I would assume is nasty tasting to, de to deter their predators. The digestive tract is actually very potent and can wipe out all creatures in its vicinity, hence the term nuke. Sometimes you hear other hobbyists calling it. Yep. Sea cucumbers possess a potential of nuking your entire tank. This means wiping out everything that your tank has. Fish, inverts, corals, everything dead, including the sea cucumber itself. There's only a handful of sea cucumbers um, species that are popular in today's aquarium trade, and all of them stay in relatively manageable size for average aquarist tanks. There are two main types. Those who swipe, you know, they spill out their tentacle from their mouth and they kind of like, they look like little sweepers. Um, the tiger tail cucumber is probably a good representative of the swiping kind. And by the way, when I say tiger tail, um, there's actually like a dozen different species all considered tiger tail. It's a very collective term, but um, I'm not going to bother with all the scientific name, but you get what I mean. They, they will spill out their feeding tentacle and they will actually ingest um, like sand matter and, and all together with everything that they can they can catch. The other type is kind of like the capturing type. Um, and the sea apple is probably a good representative of this type. They will just kind of wave their tentacles in the water column and catch whatever passes by. Given the specific feeding preferences between these two types of sea cucumbers, if you are considering either of them for your tank, I suggest you ask yourself some of these questions. Number one, do you currently have a fine grain sand bed? It has to be a yes. Um, and by the way, if you just have like crushed coral, rubbles, they don't work because the sea cucumbers need to consume very, very fine grain sand in order for them to survive. Is the tank established enough for the sand bed to nurture a good amount of microorganism? That also has to be yes. Do you have any creature, fish, or inverts with an appetite for sea cucumbers? So this has to be no. And do you have a power head or return siphon close to the sand bed level with any risk of sucking up the cucumber? That also needs to be a no, because otherwise this thing will wipe out your tank. I, I would also want to add that sea cucumbers do not eat poop, 
algae or detritus. A lot of people say, oh, let's get something like a cleanup crew to eat poop and detritus. No, they don't really eat poop and detritus. There's no nutritional value in any of those. What they do is they stir up the detritus and poop for your water to suck them up and get siphoned out and get cleaned up by your skimmers. What sea cucumber really eat is the microorganism that lives inside the sur surface of your sugar, grain sized sand bed. Hence they ingest the sand to, to strip the sand clean of it. So if you have other creatures who may have a competing hobby like a sand sifting goby you know, a shrimp goby, you may want to think twice before stocking them together. They will compete for food. And for uh, the food catching type, like a sea apple, you have to also ask yourself, do you have microscopic food um, poured into your water column to supplement the feeding? This should be a yes. And can your filtration system handle the frequent and heavy feeding into the water column? This must be a yes. Now, the third question is the same as the above. Do you have any creature with an appetite for sea cucumber? So that must be a no. And the last one is a bit trickier. Do you have any power hit at all in your tank? The answer has to be a no, because unlike the other sand bed kind of sand, ingest, sand ingesting cucumbers, the sea apple actually will crawl all over the place and they'll just wipe anything off the water column, which means there's a very good chance that it will come close enough to your power head, get stuck in, spill out their guts, and poison your entire tank. So, well, are sea cucumbers right for your tank? If you're well equipped with all the nutritional needs these creatures need, I think you will be well rewarded with a very cool alien looking creature that when it is out in the open, it's definitely an adventure grabber. Please just make sure that you have all the safety precautions in place to prevent the cucumber from being trapped. And uh, have you ever had or currently owning a sea cucumber in your tank? Well, comment at the bottom if you'd like to share your experience with, with them. Thank you again, and I hope you enjoyed the content. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.